Hi, my name is Dixon Jones. I'm the assistant plant manager for the KUIP Utah Bill, South Carolina site. Today I'm going to walk you through the framing and branding process of once poles exit our dry kiln. They are brought out to our framing yard. So now I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you what exactly goes on in the framing and branding process. All poles receive the final inspection prior to treatment per the ANSI and customer specification. Poles are rolled to measure such specifications as length, knots, sweep, and crook. In the framing yard, we apply brands, gains, holes, and tags. A gain is applied to the pole to give a flat surface for cross arm and hardware positioning during pole installation. Holes are drilled per customer specification to save linemen time and effort to install hardware to attach wire, insulators, and cross arms. Depending on the customer specification, some customers get holes, some get gains, some don't. Uh, the purpose of the holes and the gain is to have these holes as ready as possible for the linemen working out in the field. The branding process of the pole includes putting a hot metal iron onto the pole. On that branding line, it could contain the class length of the pole, uh, the customer's acronyms, preservative type, date of manufacture, uh, location of manufacture, and possible third-party inspection. Once the poles are framed, they are then moved to the treating plant. 